Hey guys, back again. Today I'm going to try and make a pair of goggles here in Plasticity 1.1. Um, everything could go wrong. It's totally possible. So I'm going to import um, some coughing and uh, hopefully that goes well. Uh, let me make sure of where I put my goggles or my photo. Um, of my dudes, they must not be where I thought, so let me have one second while I look for those. Um, I'm just going to go and import a couple of pictures, so I'm going to look for my folder real quick. I've got a couple of pictures of a character creator guy, good old Kevin, and we're going to uh, take these one at a time and rotate them. I'm just going to go like so... I'm going to go 90, and hopefully that does that. Then we're going to flip that this way, 180. And not sure why that's now off. Very weird. So, oh, let me undo that. That's really strange. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just going to rotate this now 90 degrees that way. Hopefully with no problems this time. There we go. And then this one is the side. So we're going to rotate it this way. 90 degrees. Okay, be good to go there. And then we're going to rotate it again. 90 degrees this way. And be happy with that. I'm going to grab each one of these. I'm just going to pull them back. And I'm going to grab this one. Same way. Pull this back, and uh, hopefully they're close enough uh, in position. I didn't take them into Photoshop. I'm going to check these. Hopefully they're close enough that they uh, line up. Eh, not perfect. I'm going to at least get the eyes uh, somewhat the same. About like that, I guess. The top of the head is close. It looks, the jaw's a little off, but I think that's overall okay. The nose is somewhat the same. Um, it's really hard to tell, this angle. I could probably make this, this image here slightly larger. You just scale that up like about, like so. And I think we'll be good there. Okay, so this one now back over. That's going to be in the mid. We're going to pull that one back this way. So we have nothing in the middle. I'm going to grab both of these and just move them up. And uh, something like that. Good enough. So another thing we can do here to make this less of a pain is to go into uh, the material by pressing M and making these less opaque like so. Let me just confirm that and this one I'm going to do the same. Material right here in opacity we're just going to scroll that down. I gotta say that when I first go in here this looks like the slider and it looks like it's at zero. Didn't realize at first that it was just a number that you sl uh, scrolled on. So I was a little confused. The developer, if you're watching that, love the program, but I don't know, might be something to think about, quality of life kind of stuff. All right, so originally I was going to bring in a head and um, project curves on it and stuff like that, but it will bring in an OBJ, but it doesn't work as a body. And there, as far as I know, there's no way to convert it into that from a mesh. Um, no program seems to do that either other than Rhino 3D and I don't have it. So I've tried Fusion 360 and it will export your mesh out as a step file which you need but when I bring it in here it's just for coordinates like for or whatever curves and no actual head so I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way here uh, using images so I'm going to make a rectangle and we're just going to see how far I can get doing it in this way. Uh, it may or may not work well. 
but I'm going to start off just making a rectangle like so. This will be basically the side and we're going to, ex uh, yeah, we're going to extrude that out uh, to match what we need from the front here. So we're going to start extruding. We're going to press, I'm sorry, um, tab so that we do that on both sides. So looking from the front, we're just going to extrude out until we're about like so. So there we go. Those are our goggles. Totally kidding, obviously. But we need to draw a line as to where um, everything is going to kind of lay out. Also, if you're looking from the front here and you want to be able to see where the eyes on this dude are, then you will go back into, by clicking on that image, go back into material view, and you set this to be front. That way you can sort of um, see the image even though your block is in front of the image. We're going to do the same thing with the other one here, material front. That way you can always see the images through it. And we're going to make a couple decisions. I need to figure out the roundness of the head and all of that kind of stuff. We've got no top view, which I really should have probably taken a top view picture as well. Not a big deal, though, because we can kind of figure out um, that based on the width of the head here. Um, I'm just going to make some guesses, but if I go to the top, this is me just making this up as I go so you know, folks. I'm going to create a circle that's going to be kind of approximately the diameter of that dude's head and say OK. We're going to look at this from the front, make sure we get the width of that right, and that's approximately right. Let's just go ahead and SS to scale that a little bit better like so, like that. Then we're going to look at this from the side. And here we need to scale it to where it's also, um, and we only want to do it front to back now. So just like this, and I'm, I'm going to move it to try and get this to be approximately, you know, like that. You know what I mean? To where it's an average. We don't need to worry about the nose now. I can do that individually but just to have a shape like so. And the point of this would be to, let's uh, extrude this both directions. I'm gonna start a little bit, extrude both directions. Uh, hopefully this is doing this as a separate body. We'll just go ahead and click B in case and do that. Okay, so now I can take this as a Boolean and we wanna go this the other way. So select this dude. Go to Boolean, select this guy, and right-click to confirm. And we now have uh, a set of VR goggles, essentially. So <laughs> I'm going to probably get rid of both. I don't think I need the head round anymore, even. So this is our basic set here. And uh, what I can do to kind of start figuring out um, everything is to now go into the side again and try to kind of follow this contour a little bit here and make another cut. We don't have anything that I know of that's going to be really sticking out from this. The nose and the forehead bridge are essentially going to be as they are. So I'm going to go a little thicker, obviously, just to give this some um, substance, I guess, is a, the word I'm looking for. And just kind of do this, create a curve like so. And then I'm going to grab this. I'm going to hit C to create our cut. We're going to use this as our cutter and we're going to right click to confirm. And with that, we can now grab this front block and delete it. We can grab this curve and delete it. And we're starting to narrow this down a bit. Um, I think that's a little close to that head curve. The what we can do um, to be a little safer is to grab, say, one or a few of these faces on the front and just sort of pull those forward. We have a little more distance away from that, from that head curve now. We can start working with this. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? We can also do another curve from the top but we got to remember we have cheeks and stuff like that. So we don't want to mess with it 
too, too much, um, but I think it's probably a good idea to probably cut away some of that stuff. This is just me making it up as I go. Remember that, folks. And we're going to grab this line. And I think I'm going to offset that line now. I don't know how far it will let me offset it here, but I think that's pretty good. Um, and then if this all goes well, I can take these bases. Is that working? It is. Okay. And I can, at the very least, possibly extrude these. We're going to do this as W. I'm going to just drag them down like so. Right click to confirm that. We can then get rid of this piece, which I'm assuming is a separate block now, so just delete it. And we've got this going on. So that is our basic kind of shape from the front. We are going to want to slant these off and stuff, but let's now go to the, I'm sorry, the front. I said the front before, but I meant the side. And we're going to create um, some curves for this as well. So I'm just going to go let's say from about here to about and let's go that high why not and in that that's not a curve though is it so we're going to make it a curve I'm just going to go here here and then here in that we're going to mirror so alt x and we're going to mirror this over to that side. We really want those tangents. I'm trying to remember how that is done. Uh, I think you can select the points and somehow do that. Does it say? Let's find out. Loft. Fill at the curve or vertex. Um, you know why we can't do that is because it's not combined yet. So if we grab both of these curves if it will let me there we go there and we will go ahead and join those curves now we can take this vert here and should be able to fill it that out a bit doesn't seem to be the case so we will hit B and that doesn't seem to be the case still I don't know why but that's okay because I can come back in here and fill at the edge once I have extruded anything also these guys I think need to come in now so I'm gonna pull these in a little more like so that's looking all right this one really needs that there we go that bevel kind of match the curve of the nose slightly um, you want to make sure you get that you know somewhat curved there um, I will bevel these probably after the fact I'm just trying to do this kind of slow and as I go if that makes sense um, Let's see, I'm going to add a curve here and just kind of bring this here and here for the moment because I wanted to attach these and see if I could bevel that. Let me mirror this over though real quick, like so. I want to combine all these, so I'll join. And then I'm going to try and bevel... Um, those particular points here and here just to get a nice softer edge cool and then if I can I'm gonna have to grab the points again I want to raise all these up to where they're all on the um, the face there um, I'm gonna make a mess of this hopefully not just kind of pull these in like so. Um, these might be able to to actually be, oh lord, <laughs> deleted. And these, let's see if we can use these as control points. I doubt it. I'm kind of making a mess of this. Let's see. Let me grab that. That's going to be to there that works now I'll mirror this over in a second and we're gonna take that one and bevel it so we have a nice 
round curve and then this one gets the same treatment there we go now we're now we're in a little bit better state than we were before this one can also come down something like that Let me grab this one and give that a little more of what we got going and I think that's okay so I'm going to mirror the curve let me just go ahead and select it okay, there we can if I can there we go uh, it's not beautiful but it works and we're going to mirror that uh, alt X I'm going to go from this side to that side and we're going to say okay and then I'm going to get rid of these sections that we uh, that we don't want here I think I'm going to actually have to go and explode that curve and put it back together. So, yeah, worse things have happened. So let's pick this, this, delete those, which we shouldn't do. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I've gotten myself into an interesting situation there. We're going to have to possibly delete. Nope. Lowered. Man, I can mess something up, I'll tell you what. Okay, those there. So I need to disassemble this as well. Unjoin. So now we have these separately is what I needed to do. We will delete those. Now we're in business. So now we can take all the curves from these sections like so. Now we have a overlapping there, which I'm not real happy about. Um, you see here this needs to be rammed and moved and snapped to that dude and so does this one grabbed moved around snapped there and that should do us good so sorry about the confusion there folks but sometimes it just sucks a little bit and you have to figure it out for yourself so we'll do that we'll join all those back together now we're in business so from the front that's looking okay I'm going to probably have to extend these out a little bit so we're gonna mirror one more time but I'm, I'm gonna grab this and pull it out to there for the moment this will change a bit from the side so I'm just trying to get an idea where it might be I'm gonna grab this one and move it out a bit too like that okay cool so now I can actually take this one and mirror it better there we go well alt X we're gonna go from this side to that side we are going to <laughs> okay we need to delete that half of the curve first this is crazy everyone's hating me right now I can tell I can feel it um, we're gonna delete this stuff here hopefully that is enough deletion this one really needs to um, needs to split but let's do this and we can loft uh, those points so I'm gonna put these back together this could have been so much simpler if I got it right the first time. And we're going to join those. We're going to mirror those over from here to there. And then I can take these points, I believe, this is my understanding, and L those together. And look how beautiful. And that's good. And then I can take, I believe, this curve, do what they call a rebuild on it, and it will minimize any need for... Um, points that aren't necessary and that's good and now I'm going to create another cur curve here he hoped to himself uh, this will not snap anywhere here I'm just gonna kind of get as close as I can go from here go from here here there looking perfect yeah, like here and there. Boom. 
Too bad I couldn't do that the first time around. We're going to mirror this one uh, to the other side like we have before. Obviously, that needs to change. We'll say OK. I'm going to grab these control points here and move them down. I'm going to grab these control points here and here. And I think move those up. We'll level out that center. Looks good. I think that's a great way to start. We'll go for our curves here. I'm going to grab this curve, this curve. Um, you know what I need to do is snap these two points together. Hopefully they already are, but if not, we'll just take care of that now. And I can grab the curves again. Boom and boom. Join those, which they didn't join. My favorite. Um, I don't know why they are snapped together. Um, join. Why aren't they joining? Looks like we also need to snap together all these on bottom, so we'll, those join just fine. These, however, are not. Um, those are, what are these other curves from? That's that one and that's that one, but what? Aha, there's a, a piece of a curve that we don't need, so we'll just delete that one. This is good. But these are not snapping. I'm going to go in here into point mode one more time. Try to figure out why. Uh, that says snapping intersection. We're going to go back in here and see if maybe I snapped them this time. And no, I didn't. I don't know why. <laughs> Once again, let's look from the front. I'm going to grab this point. I'm going to snap it to the center. I'm going to grab this point, snap it to the center. Oops, somehow that didn't snap. Those are definitely snapped. Grab these. Join, please, please, please. Yes. Okay, for some reason they were not snapping to the center, so they were not snapping to each other. But now we've got it. Okay, this is going to be our front profile kind of sweep. I'm going to pull this one and well, let's grab both of these curves. Now that I've bored the crap out of you, we're going to grab the main body by in object mode here. We're going to go C for cut and I'm going to grab this dude and this dude and we're going to cut through here. And now we can select the top body and delete it bottom body, delete that, and then we can of course delete these friendly curves that I have become so disgusted with. So there is our object so far. Um, not pretty, I know, but this is kind of how everything is uh, laid out as far as um, what we're working with. So we can come in here and do a lot more work to this, which we are going to. And uh, let me start cleaning this up as I go. Something you can do uh, from time to time is come in here and just delete redundant topology. And if there is any, it'll get rid of that. Right now we don't have any. Um, wish we did because that's pretty ugly. And I'm going to uh, just kind of see what we can do. Now, another thing I can do is recreate this completely the same with better topology than I have here possibly um, because there's no telling I'm just thinking as I go uh, how thick these cheek pieces need to be or any of that stuff you know what I mean uh, the head that's the head round essentially from the width and the depth but as it comes down here we're dealing with different stuff so what I think I'm gonna do is try to um, thin all of this out a lot more uh, from the bottom. This can stay, this this is going to need some work. So I uh, don't know how I'm going to do that. This is not sculpting. This is all um, modeling here. Like, I don't know if it's parametric modeling, but it's 
it's difficult modeling. All right, so another thing we need to do, let's just get this started, is create uh, eye holes here. And I'm wanting, originally I was wanting these to be 60 millimeter uh, holes for some bubble lenses that I have. So right now, unfortunately, we're in meters. So I'm kind of screwed all the way around. But this is really just to give me a sense of, you know, how would you do this uh, without snapping this to a model or using curves or whatever to build it. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going to make this up as I go and not be actually building these this particular pair of goggles. Um, that's going to keep me good and safe probably. So I'm going to select these spaces here, or these edges here. I'm just going to fill it these way out to where we have a nice smooth section there. Um, that's obviously going to be our nose bridge. So all of this stuff will probably go away. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to get rid of it either at this point, but uh, let's just keep going until something makes sense. Let's see here. That's got to be selected all the way around, as does this. This. Let's just pick those two and start filleting everything uh, nicely. It's giving me some trouble. Let's try that. That's a that's a start. Um, we're gonna go in once again, delete our redundant topology just to see if any of these can leave automatically. You can also go in and refine this yourself by deleting stuff and then repatching it yourself, which um, I think we may do with this uh, these central bits here so let's find out just how we can do this I'm just going to select some faces it's for fun like so I'm going to backspace or shift backspace and then I'm going to select the border edges which I think can you just right click um, I can do it this way though can't I border whoops Der. nope that's not how you do it. I'm trying to remember what those edges are called. Uh, probably curves. Um, loft, extrude, pipe, extend edges. Okay, we're just going to hand select them then because this is what you would do anyway. And then I'm going to patch and that will patch smoothly. And we say okay. So now we have a nice smooth patch going on there. So anytime that we want to change that up, we can do that. Um, thinking, this is just getting more like hacking and slashing at this thing to me to do it the way I'm kind of approaching this, is to um, I'm gonna cut in a little more on the sides. So from the front, Make sure we have our x-ray mode on so I can see these inner edges. I'm going to chop off a good amount of this by creating a line that's pretty much like so. That might be too much, but we can always build out from that. Just remember, we can always build again. Okay, and that should be good. I'm going to mirror that over so we have this on both sides. Good to go. And yeah, I'm making this up as I go. This is probably the worst approach to modeling these ever. So we're going to say, this is my cutter. Uh, this is my cutter. And you can see where they're going to cut through now. So we're going to say yes to that. And we click on the outside chunks that we're going to get rid of. And, and we grab our curves that we're going to get rid of like so so we're getting a little kind of a little closer um, I th I'm thinking this is all still pretty thick even up here this is pretty thick the nose bridge is fine but let's go ahead and trim back some of this stuff right here you guys are probably thinking god this guy sucks right now alright so we're going to go like this 
this here. Um, yeah, and then kind of there and there. And that's just going to cut like a really nice, smooth um, way from the side. We're just going to say, OK, cut through there. We'll execute it. We can delete those pieces. So now we have, you know, a little better on that side. And from the top, I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do a curve that thins out pretty much, pretty much everything. We don't really need the cheeks to stick out that much more. And we'll use a, a nice curve here. Something kind of like this. I'm wondering if that's too much, but I will say good riddance. No, that may that may or may not be too much. We'll find out, won't we? And then we'll just leave it as the one. I'm going to select this, do cut, grab this guy. Is that looking too thin? I think that's working fine. Chopping off this whole chunk right here, so we execute delete those pieces and I think that's a lot closer to what we want we can mirror this body over alt X go from this side to that side and be good to go I should have merged those let's undo that we'll go alt X go this way merge halves say okay it gets rid of the line down the center and then once again let's just delete the uh, redundant topology if any Okay, that's uh, looking slightly better as a base. We can take these edges here now, fillet those to kind of give that a bit nicer shape. We can maybe try these. There's probably a way better way to do what I've done here. I'm certain of it. Um, like I said, I'm still new with plasticity done tons of blender oops tons of um maya all kinds of stuff zbrush obviously and that kind of thing so it's just a matter now of how do we make this um let's see if we turn off the tangent edges does that help and they just don't want to go that far so we will try them again you know what you can also do is just one side at a time and one edge at a time uh, sometimes that really helps do things like that so that's definitely better um, that's not gonna let us do what we want to there I kinda feel like there's some double lines here or something I don't think there is but it seems like it um, Cancel that. And what I'm going to do is mirror this over because it's probably fighting that other side. So we'll grab this. Alt X. Mirror that stuff over. Agree to it. And undo it because we didn't merge again. Alt X or either way. Merge. Sit it this way. Agree. And so here we are. This way. So... We're getting closer to a shape that we want. You can see. Still probably a bit thick. Um, it's easily solved as well probably by just uh, pushing in these surfaces slightly. Uh, it might not do that. Not that way. Okay. So... Let's see if we can grab this edge then and do it that way. No, see it can be very finicky depending upon what you're trying to do. So if I don't like how this is formed, I can delete this and repatch that. Um, but I kind of do because it gives me kind of the shape I'm looking for. So let's just move on. In the front here, I'm going to actually make some holes. Um, I can't make them the size I would make them, but let's just go approximately center of the eye 
out, um, we'll just say 600 equals the 60 that I would use with my normal lenses that I have got. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that circle, pull it forward, and I'm going to Boolean this surface. I'm going to say W, select this dude, and move that back through. And see, so we don't want this business. And the reason why we're doing that is because we are doing this uh, directly at an angle through there. We want to kind of do it off the surface. So we'll get rid of this. Um, and there's a way around that. You can do it freestyle, or I can pick this plane and try to create that um, from this plane. So we go boom, and it gives us the pretty much the average of that. And I know that 600 is what I was looking for before. So somewhere in here, um, we'll go about a 600. And I want to see if from the front that still covers. It does. I want to grab the circle now, move it down to where we're about centered on the eye. And now we can grab this and I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to tab uh, through both sides. That is also going to be a W. This is our object and this is where we wind up. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to our object and I'm going to tell it uh, mirror yourself, go this way, merge the halves together and say OK. We're going to go delete our redundant topology just in case because it looks like there there could be some, um, but evidently it doesn't think so. All of this though, see stuff like this can be re repatched, re-smoothed and stuff, which we will we will get to shortly. Um, I think that this nose probably will probably maybe be built up more than I've got it here. So let's uh, let's just maybe play with that idea uh, a little bit. Uh, I think and you notice I'm holding off on any bevels or anything because I just want to make sure of how those are going to go. I wonder if I can delete any of these edges. Let's just say, boink. Nope. Um, I'm also wondering if I can join any of these surfaces and no. So, oh, yes, I can. How beautiful is that? So let's go ahead and do some of that. And maybe that will allow us to to start looking pretty on this. Um, this may not join because it's got more of a, a peak there than I probably want. Let's see if we can at least join these three together. Yes, we can. These can probably join. And can these. I'm just trying to make it look better, you know. Let's join these. This gets our topology um, not so horrid. And uh, for those of you who didn't know that you can do that, it's a kind of a lifesaver. This will not join for some reason, seemingly down here. Uh, that's not cool, man. It's just not cool. And it's got to be because of the order I did that in, of course. But not not so bad. Uh, we will take care of that later. If I have to delete this and patch it, then that's the way I'll do it. It's just it means that there's probably some kind of edge here that doesn't allow uh, those two to go, to go together for whatever reason. It could be as simple as, you know, that little, that little corner not allowing these two to join.
that little corner doesn't want to join with apparently anything. So, oh, it joined there. This one can now probably join that little corner. I just want to get rid of things like that. Uh, they do trip you up later. So once again, are we good here or are we not? Yes, we are. Good. That's what it was. So I just like to do stuff like that. Make sure these look nice and clean if we can. It saves the day often. So, all right, not bad at all. I don't think those will ever join. Not worried about those. Let's see if these will. I don't think so. If they did, that'd be cool. But I think these complex shapes make that impossible. Can probably join some of these. If not, I'll have to go in and fill it some of that stuff out, and that's probably what's going on because they're too extreme of a of a bend here. So I'll just Oops, grab this, 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 that one, and that one to start with. We'll fill up these guys out a bit. And now I can probably either delete uh, redundant ge geometry here. Topology. Uh, nope. Or I can go in and combine some of these now because they are. And I'm just going to do them from here like this. Let's see if those will join. Yes, they do. We can do the same on this side. It just keeps the topology simple, which is what we're what we're looking for. I think all of that's okay for the moment. Don't need to mess around with that too much more. I'm going to also create a lens from that curve. It's at the right um, shape and size. And what we're going to do is, I'm sure there is a perfect way to do this easily, probably revolving itself or something uh, revolving itself on a half, probably. So if I split this curve, let's just see if that will do it. We'll split it at its top here. Maybe split it now at its bottom Yeah, there should have been a bottom. Let's undo that. I don't want to split it if it's not meant to be split. Let's look at the points of this curve. And it doesn't look like there are any. So it's just giving me the middle end. So there's that curve there, which is good. And if I want to split opposite of that, we should be splitting right there. So now we should have two points like so. I'm going to grab this. Why are you not doing what I need? Okay. We do have two points on it though. Uh, those are supposed to be splitting curve. Um, they should be. So I'm going to select those. See if there's a way to do that. Okay, it does not matter because we are going to, in any case, do this with it. And be like, gee, Sean, why are you doing that though? That looks very strange. Well, I'll tell you why. I'm going to take this dude like so, grab its edge here, fill it, it until it becomes, and you can actually do that with it, and it will be a perfect sphere done. We can even probably grab, let's get rid of the curve, I think. Well, let's just hide that curve. We might need it later. Grab this edge and we're going to maybe move it forward. No, we are not. Okay. Well, I think it's okay because that's all gets embedded into the goggle at any rate. And let's grab the lens itself. We're going to need to um, move this on a, on a uh, custom normal. So we're going to go V, do it like that, I think, and grab this in here and over here, something like that. 
I moved it up, so now we've got to go with our standard move. We just grab again and pull this down until, of course, we have it in the center for the most part. Um, I probably pulled it in too far, so we'll pull that out a bit more. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it now, just approximately there. Move it again. Just a lot of fiddling until it's until it's right. Something like that. Grab, move, look at it from the back and the front and make sure it's it's pretty much where it needs to be. And I do want to um, move it. Just look at it from the top to where it is flush from the inside. Can probably move that a little like so. Just trying to get a little space around the edges. That's a little too far forward now. You might have to rotate it again, which is what it's looking like. So I'll just rotate like so. Getting this in the right position is pretty important though, so otherwise I wouldn't be wouldn't be messing with it so much, but uh, and if we need to we can always clip it from the back. I just didn't really want to have to do that. This is still a bit off. Let's uh, custom rotate this from well, from here is fine. We'll rotate it forward slightly. Like that. I think that's not great, but it's not horrible. <laughs> Let's rotate this again. Vicky, she's a nice girl. Uh, and you can rotate it from anywhere you like. So you can kind of go like that. Make sure it's kind of with that. And then we can rotate this back. Let me just kind of come out to make this a little easier. There we go. Something like that. Not like that. And then we can do one more time the from the bottom and kind of well not from the bottom. That's gonna be off, isn't it? That is gonna be off, so probably just have to do a standard rotation from the top to let that now that's already pretty close that's too much rotate standard rotation from the top get that back in there and that is now out so we have to move that a bit in Fiddling, fiddling, fiddling. So about there. Just trying to make it not clip as well. So that's about as close as I'm going to get that, I think. Okay, so there's one goggle lens, and I'm going to obviously mirror that across like so. And there's our basic look for those guys. Now, a couple things that we could and should do. Start figuring out what goes in where. I know I'm going to do an inset um, pretty much on all these services. There's going to be a ring that runs around these guys so I think what I might do is select the, cur the uh, curve around the eye possibly duplicate it it's it's now its own you know 
curve up, going ahead and um, guess I can't do that. Let's undo that. Let's select the curve all the way around. Now we can um, Okay, this is coming to be a bit impossible. Let's try this again. I'm just wanting to select that and expand this outward. It seems to be doing it on the back side um, instead of here. Okay, here we go. This is a little more promising. There we go. So we're going to make a, a ring about that thick. And now we can grab that ring and I believe we just we're going to extrude that out. Be only about that thick. It's going to be a new body of its own. I'd really like to make this entire surface flat. I do not know exactly how to do that. Maybe scaling in one direction. Um, I know there's a way. So let's say V. Let's go. figure out the best way to do this. So I want all of this to come up flat. Scale. Um, Escape. Yeah, see how you can make this flat, but it has to be, I have to turn the, um, the doodad. And I think if I drill a line, the plane that I want this to be on, like say from here, to here, and that's our that's our flatness scale. And uh, let's pull this up so we can get to it easier. And if I grab all these faces again, and I scale, and I go V, use this. And now, if I scale these this way. Those will, in fact, scale until they are flat. If I don't do it so much, so scale. V, use this, come in. Oh, come on, you know you want to. Okay, escape, that's not working. Um, scale, use this guy and even a little bit maybe okay that worked from there um i really want to do this more though so let's try it again scale v use this guy more flat boom there that is working much better so scale now the here, use this. Let's try to go to zero. I think what I need to do is move my curve out away from this ring. Let's just grab this and go 
here. If I grab my faces again, grab this curve, V, use this curve, and flatten again, we should be getting more flat. Um, and I guess if we do it again, it may not go any more than that this time. Yeah. I think that's all right. They don't need to be a billion percent flat. I'm kind of okay with that. If I really needed to, I could go into screen space here and just chop those. I really, or on the top, I should say, and I could just chop those flat, which let's just do it. Let's take our beloved curve here and we need to rotate it a bit because it's kind of off, it seems like now. Something like this. And let's, from the top, move it over to where we're going to chop those guys. Let's take a look at it from the front, just making sure nothing weird's going to happen. Okay, move it up. And we can now say, hey, you, I, we're going to cut you, and we're going to cut you off like that, and now we can delete these pieces, and that is perfectly flat as we wanted it, and now I can move this whole ring as one back as far as we can like that. Perfect. And then if I want, I can move this now, and here's a kind of a cool thing about that is I can probably rotate this based on this flat piece now that we have it here essentially I can can't I do that? Mm, it's not letting me do that that's interesting so then oh it's because I'm not in object mode grab this rotate V based on, you know, that looks good. That does not. So we'll probably just do this from a standard rotation from the top. Like that. And if we had have to, we can move that and adjust it around. I'm just going to get that kind of more parallel with the uh, front of the lens. Looks pretty good though. And grab that. Kind of move it, pull it out even a little more because now we won't have gaps and things because we have that lens kind of lens cuff there to uh, make sure everything stays straight and within it. I'm going to see if I can make a plane from selection um, that's fine. It looks pretty good, though. Just going to try and get us straight on with this. I can't look at it. needs to go a little to the left. Yep. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? Like what? Okay, if you feel like it. I'm going to delete this other one here. I'm going to probably chamfer and shape these guys. Go ahead and give this a, a chamfer. So that would look pretty nice on there. This one will get a chamfer as well. There we go. That looks great. And then if we wanted to, we could come in here and bevel that one out a little bit. We could bevel all of them for that matter if we wanted just a just a tiny bit. Just to make these a little more light catchable. Like so. 
And then that would be one beginning of one goggle ring. So a few things we can do with those. Um, I've considered here um, using, let's say, this space. We can shift space, I'm sorry, shift space. And now we've got a plane here that we can grab a, let's say a small rectangle from why we're we using screen space for that. We shouldn't be, nope, 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 definitely not that. Uh, we can, like I said, grab, don't know if we should be doing this anyway, but it'd be kind of cool. Go from the top. and just create a small rectangle. I'm gonna use the line tool instead of an actual rectangle. And just go like, say, as straight as I can. There. And pretty perpendicular from it, like so and pretty parallel here. So we have this little guy. And now we can, I think, move that over. Grab, it's a little not perfectly centered. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to look at this from the front again. I just wanna make sure that it's not, um, it's kind of centered over the main center of that sphere as much as we can, so it's not too off kilter. And then from the top again, I'll have to twist this again or move it around so that it sits perfectly like that. Okay. This is just something I may even change my mind about again later. I'm gonna lift it up just slightly. We are going to take that face now and extrude this down. I'm gonna actually make this a new body for now. We'll agree to it. I'm gonna get rid of that curve here. And we're gonna go in and fill it these two edges to start with. Get it kind of a rounded shape like that. And maybe fill it this slightly, just so it's not too ugly. Oops, too much. That's not what I wanted. I tapped on the side of the body, so it thought I meant I wanted it to be like it. And now we can grab the whole shape. I'm going to lift it out just a little, uh, making sure it's still completely embedded. Looks good, I hope. Are we embedded on this side? That would be really important. Yes, we are. Okay, this is going to be a little bit difficult, probably. But I think if I go like so and pick maybe that, nope, that's the wrong one. Um, go here and pick that one, that seems to be the wrong one. Here and pick possibly this one, wrong one. Here and go for that one, is this one right? I pray with all my might, it is not I don't know how it's not, and I think it's because that is not completely round. So this might not be a great idea, just sim simply based on the fact that this lens itself is not round here, unfortunately, which is a huge bummer. Because that would look great. Um, how do we fix that? And it's because I extruded it out, I think, from that curve, which I probably should have used the curve of the lens. So let's back up. Let's back up. I'm going to... Do we still have a curve for the circle? We do which should, is that just a circle? I mean, it should just be a circle. It is. 
So if I can align that circle, and actually I don't even have to. I'm going to delete that curve. To heck with that curve. Let me take this little solid. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Let's just start afresh here. Afresh. I'm going to take this curve and recreate this curve. But that curve is wrong, isn't it? We need the curve from the lens itself. That curve. We're going to... So, hate to do it, but I'm going to get rid of that lens ring altogether. Because it's based off, off of a bad curve. So, if we take the ring of the lens, leaving it in place, we recreate, duplicate that curve, I think. We scale it to be bigger, basically what we want that lens ring to be. If I move it out, it'll be perfectly aligned with the lens at this point. I don't know how easy it's going to be to see toward the front. Um, but then we can duplicate it again, scale it down. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to change the diameter of this eventually anyway, uh, from the inside once it gets done. And now we can select this face. We can extrude this face back into our mask like so as a new body and we will have a brand new ring that actually works better. I'm also going to get rid of this particular um, curve because there's no reason to have it at the moment. I'm going to chamfer again these guys. So, don't know, oh, that, those are the curves. Let's just turn those off for the moment. I'm going to chamfer these edges. We'll turn off our uh, invisibility there. Chamfer these edges in to where those are much cooler. And now, with that done, because that looks pretty good, we can come in here uh, with with uh, selecting, well, let's just do it from the top because it will find it just the same. Pretty much try and get about the center um, of this and draw our little rectangle friend here. Something like this. I'm, I am going to extend the back of that out because I think that's we don't want to see the edge of that if we don't have to probably it's just a guess of mine pull these in um, they're probably fine and I'm gonna move the curve down to where it sits on top of spaghetti now on top of this at that edge uh, I should rotate the whole thing, it looks like. Because that's totally off kilter now. Something like this, to where it's... No, I guess it's not. It just looks like it. Let's see. It's, it, it's because it's not 90 degrees. All right, I'm going to delete that. We're going to just do a corner rectangle. I'm going to drag it from about here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. Once again, I'm going to pick this face from the top. Oh, you butt. Fine, we'll do it from the front, from the side. I don't really care. And we'll do a center, center rectangle somewhat this long it's totally fine. This works exactly the same way. 
And now we can take the plane of it as a new body. We will pull this out a little bit. Make sure that is a new body. We'll grab the edges of it. I know this is taking forever. My bad. Pull these together to create something like so. Looks good. And then I'll select these ends. Probably don't need to do the back one, but we're going to. I will just round those off slightly. And with that, now we will hide that curve. We've got this new body. We can take this guy. And I think with... I'm trying to figure out which curve is which. That curve. There. We will use it as our radial there, making sure they are all embedded on the sides. We can go as high as we want to with this. And boom, we have this ring. Let's do that again, because I kind of want to get those. For one, I want them to be, mm, kind of feel like I want those to be smaller. So we will scale, scale it this way slightly, we'll move it based on that same plane to about right there, there we go. And also as we do the radial, I can... Um, overlap them slightly and then make them all one object. So now that they're slightly overlapped, right click, those are there, and then I can Q, Q. Once this comes up and these turn purple, I can right click and they're now, will be as soon as this settles itself, will be one object. And it looks like they did not become one object still. I don't know why, because they are uh, embedded to each other. But there's also another way to handy dandify that here in just a second. In fact, if I really wanted to, I could select this let me see we don't want that one we don't want that one we do want that one and probably all of the other ones like this i can q q and put all of those together and now hopefully this will be one solid object and everyone can be happy if you're watching, say hi, let me know. Um, it's always good to, to hear and see. Now this should take all these objects, make them one, if we're lucky. We've done our job right, um, and it has. So that is gonna be our, essentially our eye ring. And it's got this nice extension to it. And I think that is good there. I think. So, hmm. Thinking about putting some, well, we definitely want an edge around the whole thing. So I'm just going to grab all of this, all of this. Don't know if it's going to let me do this as one piece. We will find out because it may decide it doesn't like this. I'm going to offset that, I hope, with all my might and pray with everything in my body that's going to let me do this. Evidently it is not having any of that. We also might need to select the entire uh, eye edge as well. So let me turn off a couple of these other solids. 
select these and maybe now we can offset. I think it's really finicky and really sensitive, so that's not going to work. I may have to uh, duplicate this curve. Let's try it. Duplicate the curve. Um, that is not what I selected, but perhaps that's why it was having a problem, because that is what I selected. Let's see. Because it definitely wasn't going to do what I wanted it to with what was selected there. So let's try this now. Will this offset at all? We have a little bit. That's what we're looking for. Let's go a slight bit more. Something like that. Good, good. That's exactly what I wanted. I kind of, I hope this doesn't mess anything up, would like to take all of these spaces that are left and push them back now into the mask without doing any damage. It obviously doesn't like that. And I think it's because of possibly, I don't know what's going on with that there. Yeah, it's not wanting to uh, do that, so we'll cancel that. Um, hmm. Let's try one face. Yeah, it's not even wanting to do that. So therefore, we could select all the faces and push them back. It's not going to go far because of this right here. It's not going to go anywhere. Well, it went a little, but yeah, it's got a hole. So that's not going to work. So there's a possibility now that I just need to try a couple different things. Um, it's not the best shape, so that's part of the issue here. Part of the issue. Um, hmm. Part of me that thinks if I duplicate the face, the faces, which I've done, and I get rid of this temporary plane, and I grab those faces I just made and pull them in like this, just a little bit. It kind of halves that, which that makes that nice. I wonder, can we use that as a cutter? Because that's a sheet. I don't know. So if I take that guy and I say cut, using this sheet. The sheet doesn't work. That sheet won't work. Okay. So, but that's what I want to do is I want to remove this based on where that sheet is. So if I take the sheet, I give it a thickness of like point Zero, 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 001 is that considered a sheet still or is that considered a solid it's still considered a sheet 
That's some sheet right there. So point zero zero one. Point zero zero one. Let's let's find out. That does make it a solid. If I took this solid and booleaned out the sheet, does that make those two separate objects now? Ugh, oh, gosh, gosh. Because what I want to do, that doesn't work. That sheet is, yeah, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Okay, well, what if I grab that sheet, we pull it back, and make it, let's not pull it back. In fact, let's delete it. Um, shift backspace. X. How do you delete a sheet? <laughs> sheet. Move. Boom. X. Delete. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to shape the inside like the outside. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't exactly know how to make that happen. Um, maybe if I deleted the inside faces and these, which give it its thickness, you know, technically. I'll leave the eye ring sheets. I did this, and then I did hollow solid. Does that work? Doesn't seem to. Well, what if I just deleted all those faces and then thickened this because I think this is now a sheet and if I thickened it wouldn't that be the same thing it would so I'm gonna go inward come on So there's a little bit of thickening and it still doesn't want to take it. Let's go with that. Um, so now it's the same on the inside as it is on the outside. This, I don't know what this action is here. That looks like a, a place to delete stuff. Can I just delete that face? I can, but is that safe? Apparently not so bad so far. Let's get rid of these anomalies. This seems like I'm going about this a lot more difficult than I should be. So let's select these. Edges here, patch the holes. Um, this really should be 
not like that either, but I will fix that by going, take this, take this, take this, and get rid of them. And then hopefully, I mean, what I'm gonna do is draw an edge, a line from here, I mean, it feels like it's snapping, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to click these border edges, try to patch that based on that. And that's not how that works. And I'm going to grab... How do you do that? How do you do that? Um, they said you can raw new stuff. Let's get rid of this. How would I... I have to knife it or something, don't I? Yeah. So I can go... Why is this not snapping? It's not snapping to... Kind of, it snaps there, but it doesn't snap to that corner the way I expect. So let's just do this. I'm probably going to have to knife that, actually, now that I think about it. So, And you know what? Control-R. Let's escape. Let's grab a face. This is how you do it. Control-R. Tab. And get that sucker essentially there. We're going to go this face. Control-R. Tab. That's fine there. I, I think um, <laughs> control R tab see it wants to snap and then it stops so we'll just agree to that and uh, we'll grab this face control R tab approximately there not sure exactly what happened. And I'm going to just be bold and select faces and remove them. There we go. And then take the border edges that I've got and there we go and patch holes. Don't know why that wouldn't work. It's just a 90 degree angle. It's wanting to loft along an edge. It's for crying out loud, dude. It's just an edge. It's like from here to here. Okay. So we're going to select the border edges one more time. He said, hopefully, and patch. It's going to say select guides. That's your guide. Cancel. That's your guide. That's all I know. And we're going to say smooth. G2, G1. Is it even working? Say OK. And we got nothing. OK. So don't know why that's not working. Let's get rid of that line because as far as I know, that shouldn't even need to be there. I'm going to grab my border edges. I mean, that's all you should need to do. We'll go with smooth. I'm going to say OK. And it hasn't done it. All right, folks. Well, how about we loft from here to here? And that obviously isn't going to make for a great scenario. If I drag, my, grab my curves. See, these curves, those are two separate curves. And I have a feeling there's some kind of little space. Look at that. Can we join those? Uh... 
Um, yeah. That is the guide, fool. Okay, so we'll loft this and this, and then select guides. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And that is totally wrong because these are not snapped to one another. I'm going to try going from here. See, why doesn't it snap? You need that middle snap. How am I supposed to know where that is? ridiculous so now I can go points but see there's no points to grab now gosh dang it K not gonna work right points K that doesn't work so escape and do It just doesn't work like it does at all in other programs. I have no idea. I've been watching videos all day on how to fix things like this, and they just don't work. Um, it just doesn't. So we're going to delete that. I am going to... do that. Um... Why can't I patch this? Why? Gonna grab that edge, which is not even letting me do this. Lord, it's because of this. go back to the ugly way it was and try to figure it out some other way because what I have done is not working that way. You know, you would think that would work for a patch. Um, and it does, but it doesn't... Um, so that's really what I'm looking for there say okay it's ugly there's got to be a way to rectify some of that so delete redundant which it's seeing a, an edge there that I really don't care for and want but at least it's back and uh, we'll try and maybe select this edge so what we can do about that probably nothing because that is horrible now I'm wondering if now that this has been done this way, I can delete it. And now patch that correctly. But I, it seems as though there already is a... Is there a, a polygon already here? 
No, there's not. So I'm just wondering now, can I take these border edges Jeez, this is a nightmare. And patch those as a single patch. And it seems like I can. We'll say good. Then I will try to do these the same way. Backspace that. Select the edges. This is so much more work than if I did this in Blender right now. Um, patch that. That's fine. To where we have just two pieces. These are some seriously redundant, unnecessary edges here, though, in my opinion. So I'm just wondering, can I just get rid of them and it's not going to let me? Maybe just do this part. Now I probably have to do all of those. Delete. It does not want to give that away. So we'll go ahead head back here and see if we can delete redundant topology again. And no, we can't. That's just weird. So we'll leave it. I'm fine. <laughs> some things you fight, some things you just don't. All right. With that, let's get back to this somehow you can see there's a lot of junk going on here in my opinion um, probably shouldn't be I want to see if these will join they will not let's see if these will join those do let's see if these will join and they do. Just trying to reduce some of our nastiness again. And let's try these here. Those do not. I don't know why we've got such a nasty edge happening there. See if those will join, and they do. We'll probably have to live with that little bit, which I'm not happy about. So here, here, and here. There's so many facets here that don't need to be here. Exactly sure how that worked out, but sometimes that little circle is in the way. Let's see if this one will work with this. I know this one will probably work with this. And no, it does not. Okay, so those are gonna stay that way for now. Um there we are. So not horrible let's turn our lenses our lens back on just kind of get a feel for this now this hole inside can probably be cut um, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that probably gonna have to borrow an edge from the mask itself so let's turn this back off, and th th uh, not that, oh, so that is the mask itself, gotcha. Okay, so we could, no it's not, let's turn off this guy, and see if we can duplicate an edge. don't know how that would work maybe we can extrude
from that edge this way. I don't know why it didn't take that. So I didn't select all of it, that's why. So let's select it all. Let's see. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. We're going to select this edge because I didn't do that before. Duplicate that edge. We're going to extrude. We're going to do it based on this. Nope. And we're going to. Is that a separate object? I hope. So far, so good. We're going to select this face, including these faces. We're going to extrude that out. Not just that, but the whole thing. Extrude out. Make it its own body, so cancel. Take this, expand that out, give that sheet not a loft thickness, not loft. Okay, what's the issue? Offset. Is that this sheet? That is this sheet. We want to give it thickness. Thickness is a rough one with this guy, man. It's good. Going to offset that face now. No, we're not. Offset, hopefully. Like so. Take this as an object. We're going to turn back this guy. So this one will now be cut away by this one. can take this no we can't so we may just have to leave that on the inside which is total BS until I meld those two together then I can probably possibly snap that off somehow also, this face needs to be deleted. And that's just going to be that for now. Somehow, still, I need to create an offset of this edge which has not happened up to this point yet
I am corn fused. So if I created a duplicate, hmm. how about from the side, maybe? We'll hide our little eye pieces. I'm gonna have to give that lens some thickness. Let's turn off this curve from the side. Maybe I can now draw curve. Probably should have done this with a curved curve, but I can take that, smooth that, yes, no, Okay, I can move it, try our little friend, the shift I, select the target body, select the curve, see how that goes. Bad. It's not perfect for some reason. Um, I don't know why. I guess that's just where it intersected. Okay. So if that's the case. I uh, see. So can I get rid of that? That. Do something like that. Let's try that again. Do that. This isn't really how this should be done. I can already feel it. Let's just go in the front. I'm just faking this as I go, so making it up as I go along close enough and this would mean not much else okay so <laughs> If I really wanted to, I could thicken from the inside, yes? Maybe. Horrible topology. Just offset that. No, nope. guess not. 
not even if I included you. Probably not. Okay, so how about an extrude? That's just going to be all kinds of wacky. not going to like that. For one, we're going at a weird angle. So we say, nope. How bizarre, man. I don't know exactly. Not enough experience, evidently. I'm fumbling. Well, let's just do our this is not really a hard surface object, so that's why there are issues. Um, I've kind of expected to be able to just, you know, offset all this, but it doesn't like that. It just doesn't like it. to work on some of these tools because they work but then there's times they don't you saying how do I snap that offset to that so you need to wear they're the same there's no way to perfectly set that Time six. A lot. And I know it has to do with the angles of the piece and all that, but still. See, that's nowhere near where it's supposed to be yet. If I grab it and try to now move it, watch, it's not going to grab probably, right? Nope. So how do you fix that? I don't know how. Okay, so this now. shift as well as I can and now this guy this is definitely not how I would do this the second time around Let's see if I can get both of these guys at the same time maybe since they're similar and maybe these two okay these two
Nope. So I'm down. Maybe not. Okay, why did it work before? Completely confused, folks. Starting to get completely confused. See, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of not the most reliable tool. Let me try both these. Singles. Obviously. This is not how I would choose to use these tools. One, I don't know how precise I'm even being at this point. Yeah, see this is going to be probably an issue. And as you can see, probably too thick. No, that's probably somewhat okay. Try again here. Close enough, I don't really care anymore. I know the positivity is contagious probably okay so this is what I've got I'm going to try to get rid of this curve that's just absolutely useless thought that would work um, but I'm going to try see if I can select everything which it's already not doing a great job of There's some things it does well, like mechanical, and other things like this that are half and half. It's kind of not working so great. Join, maybe. Let's see if I can mirror these over. Um, evidently, they have no ability to mirror over, I guess, which is not great. Alt X. Nope. So I'll take the object now. Mirror it over. Merge the halves. Say OK. Thank you. And I will try to pull up. Let's see, this is the problem. I'm not going to get this face as a separate face, which is the point of this whole process. Um, don't know how to fix that because those are very important elements to be able to pull forward and evidently it sees them all as one piece. Well with that folks I think I'm gonna go ahead and go I'll work on this later when I have a little more patience for it. Um, plus, I've got dinner waiting on me and all of that. So, you guys have a good night.
I will try to do the same. And I don't know, happy modeling, how's that? Cool.